After more than a year, the longest state of emergency in Canadian history, one prompted by COVID-19, will be lifted in B.C. It comes as the province gets ready to enter step three of the restart plan. As CTV's Bender Sajid reports, there's some changing guidance on mask wearing. Vancouver Airport providing a reorientation for those ready to fly. COVID-19's impacts will linger. Transport Canada has identified that masks continue to be required through the screening process on the aircraft and at critical points on the travel journey. The reminder comes as BC's plans for step three are ready for takeoff. That means we can go and cheer for our kids at the soccer game in the arena, in the gymnasium. We can go to a friend's place for dinner. We can plan that wedding. We can go to the theater. We can go to a concert. As of July 1st, recreational travel in Canada is allowed. Personal gatherings can return to normal. And you can have 50 people indoors or 50% of capacity, whichever is higher. 5,000 people can gather outdoors or 50% of capacity, again, going with the larger number. To put COVID-19 behind us from a pandemic to a communicable disease, which means keep washing or cleaning those hands. I'm going to be wearing a mask if I'm in a, with a group of people that I do not know. Officially, masks are now recommended in indoor public spaces until two weeks after your first shot. Businesses can still require one, so how often you'll need it is up in the air. It is up to us to decide who we have in our home now. So this is the, the time where, yes, if your grandparents and aunties are immunized, they can come over and you can have that family gathering and hug the grandchildren. Places of worship will soon be free of restrictions. Casinos will reopen with some limitations. We can also get back to indoor fitness classes at regular capacity. Step three brings us closer to where we were before the pandemic. Limits on group sizes and liquor sales at restaurants will also vanish on Canada Day. Nightclubs can reopen with up to 10 people seated together. There's no dancing and in both situations, no socializing between tables. Some businesses may still require masks, so the province is asking people to respect the rules. And while the state of emergency will be over, the public health emergency continues, supporting those changing public health orders. Binder Sajjan, CTV News, Victoria.